Hey guys, Epi here, and today we'll be reconstructing Felix's incredible 4.22 3x3 world record single that he's just set today. Now before we get straight into it, I'm going to start off with a quick fact. This is the biggest world record single jump since the 6.18 to the 5.66. This is a 0.37 second jump, which is pretty huge, and it's quite an impressive accomplishment, so major congrats to Felix for doing it. The average that he did this in also had the best counting single in history. He got a 4.92 in the very same average, which beats his previous world record counting solve of 5.28. Unfortunately, the other solves in the average weren't that good, so he only got a 6.26 average. Anyway, let's get straight into the reconstruction. Felix was using the Angstrom GAN SM. I don't have one of those, but I'll use the closest thing I have to it. So here we have the scramble, and if you're a white cross solver, then make sure you do a Z2 or an X2 before the scramble, so that you'll be able to follow along too. One of the first things you might notice is that there are a lot of yellow cross pieces standing by, all relatively close, and none of them are particularly bad. So Felix goes for yellow cross, and our cross pieces are here, 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 and here. These two are solved on the yellow layer, but not in relation to each other. I.e. if I solve the red one, the green one will be solved with it. So we're gonna have to get rid of one of these. But what we can see here is this yellow blue one, which we can bring down with one simple move, which is solved in relation to the yellow red one, and it comes with a corner with it, so that's a pretty good deal. Once you've solved that with an F prime, you can bring the orange edge down in relation to the blue edge with an R prime, do a D prime so that there's a space for the green edge to go in, bring it up, and the corner is still solved. So before we do a D prime to align the cross, what Felix does, he rotates, this is the edge which corresponds, the blue red edge with the yellow blue red corner. So he inserts it with R U prime R prime, so that now when you align the cross, you will have an X cross, which is just pretty nice. And your first F2 L pair is already solved. So that whole cross together was F prime, R prime, D prime, R, Y, R U prime, R prime. And then a D prime would work to align it, but what he does, because you can see his next... But what Felix does, because you can see your next pair is here. So, instead of doing a D prime, Y prime, and then inserting it like that, Felix does something clever, he just does a wide U prime, which does the rotation and the D move all in one. Then he can go straight to insert this, with R U prime, R prime, to pair them up, and there's your first two F2 L pairs solved. Now you can do a rotation to the left, so that both of your pairs are on the front, and this pair is definitely the easier one to go with, so you can pair this pair up with an L prime U two L, and then simply insert it with the standard insert U prime L prime U L. Now on the last pair, Felix does a sort of nice trick as well. So the standard insert would be U two, and then Y prime, so that you can insert your last pair. But what Felix does, he does a D and then a U, which again saves your rotation. And then you can solve the last pair by R prime U prime R to take out the corner U and then R prime U prime R again to insert them both together. And then you can see the OLL we have here. Those of you who may know COLL or ZBLL will see that this is going to skip. I think Felix probably saw that it was going to skip, but the algorithm is R U2 R2 F R F prime R U2 R prime. And then there's no AUF, skip PLL and you're done. And now we'll run through the solve once more just to summarize everything. F prime to bring this edge down, R prime D prime R to finish off the rest of the cross. Rotate, insert the edge, fat U prime to make your X cross. Insert the first pair with U prime, R U R prime. Rotates again, L prime U to L to pair it up. U prime L prime U L to insert. It has another nice trick here, fat D U, just cancel out a rotation, and insert the last pair with back double sexy. U prime, O L L, and done. And now I think one of the many things this solve demonstrates is how important it is to think about using wide U moves or wide D moves, because those can save a rotation. While a rotation may not seem like much, especially when you're coming down to a world record solve, it's really important to have as little rotations as possible, and cancelling those off with D or U moves is a great way to do it. Another impressive thing about this solve is that Felix barely paused during the entire solve, which means he had great look ahead, but also he probably saw some of the first few pairs at least in inspection. It just shows that it's really helpful, especially in a world record solve, to get rid of as many pauses as possible, just like rotations. Anyway, that's it for this world record solve. Great job to Felix for setting it. We're getting really close to sub 4 now, which is just insane. And I can't wait to see who's going to break that. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.